So I've got a one millimeter thick piece of stainless steel here that I'm going to try to cut through. So I'm going to make a circle in EasyCAD, put this on these little stilts that I have. I'll set the focal point real quick. That looks good. And we'll get our circle. This is set to 10 millimeters. I'm going to use the offset function and I'm going to offset it by 0.1 millimeters. I'll select both circles and I'll hatch them. And we currently have a hatch set to 45 degrees with the cross hatch in this pattern. And we're marking the contour. That looks fine. Line distance is 0.05 millimeters. I might make that like 0.02 millimeters. And hatch 2 is going to be more of a cleanup. 0.05 is probably okay. Maybe we'll do 0.03. And let's just say okay to that. It's going to be 0 and 90. Say okay. We filled in our little outer ring. So our pen settings for pen 0, which will be our first pass, are going to be 100 millimeters per second, 90% power, and 20 kilohertz frequency. For our second pass, it's going to be... Oops, let's select that. 300 millimeters per second, 60% power, and 35 kilohertz frequency. So let's select the object. Let's light it up on our part, and let's go. It's going to run continuously. So hopefully our part will drop out. But I've never done this before, so I'm not sure. This mark is an incredibly tedious process, so I've sped it up 50 times so you don't have to sit here and watch this. The actual entire time that I'm going to mark this is about 25 minutes long. I'm going to cut it in a second here and show you what it looks like from the underside. Well, it's 14 minutes. Well, the video is 14 minutes. There's the underside. You can see the laser coming through. So again, back to 50x speed, and here's a spoiler. I did not get through this, and after 25 minutes, I just figured, hey, I'm going to give up. The actual spec on this laser is that it can cut through 0.3 millimeter material. So here's where I called it quits, and I poked it with a pen. Slug came out, and surprisingly, I guess not surprisingly, but the stainless was pretty hot. So there it is, there's a hole, and I think the slug is rolling around here somewhere. There it is. So it came out with a little bit of force. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this for a one millimeter part, considering this was only a 10 millimeter, or sorry, a one millimeter thick part, because this was only a 10 millimeter circle, and you can see it took 25 minutes just to get most of the way through it. So. Not recommended. This is only a 20 watt laser. Maybe better results will be had with a 50, but that's what happens if you do it with a 20. So hopefully this is helpful.